more about the knucklehead who climbed Trump Tower and had the nation glued to TV. He's been ID'd in news reports as Michael Joseph Ryan, a 19-year-old from Virginia. He once worked for a local county Republican committee. The drama started around 3.30 p.m. There is a man climbing the outside of Trump Tower. From the moment it began, police mobilized. Fifth Avenue was shut down to traffic, and it became an only in New York spectacle. It was a slow motion drama as the climber made his way up using suction cups that he apparently purchased for around a hundred bucks a piece. It quickly turned into a dangerous game of cat and mouse. New York's finest blocked his way with a window cleaner platform. Then cops broke a window, showering the guy with shards of glass. <laughs> Zigzagging his way up one of the city's iconic skyscrapers. The climber was captured on cell phones from the inside looking out. Oh my God. You can actually hear the suction cups locking into place. Three hours into the drama, cops have had enough. They removed windows on the 21st floor right above him, and he was boxed in. Listen to the cheers on the ground as the police grab him and haul him inside. I reached out and took hold of his hand and I said, sir, you need to come with me. Cops are now probing the troubled young man's background. He came up here yesterday. He's staying at a local hotel. What he explained to us is that he wanted a personal meeting with Mr. Trump. He posted this video message to Trump. The reason I climbed your tower was to get your attention. If I had sought this via conventional means, I would be much less likely to have success because you are a busy man with many responsibilities. Trump works and lives at Trump Tower, but he was campaigning in Florida where he tweeted, great job today by the NYPD in protecting the people and saving the climber. The people behind me, they're all on television. They're gonna be famous. They're gonna be famous. As if things couldn't get any crazier, look at the guy sitting behind Trump at the Florida event. It's disgraced former Congressman Mark Foley, who resigned his seat in 2006 after sending suggestive emails to congressional pages. Just the other day, Hillary Clinton was slammed after the father of the Orlando nightclub shooter sat right behind her. Wasn't it terrible when the father of the animal that killed the wonderful people in Orlando, was sitting with a big smile on his face right behind Hillary Clinton. You cannot write this stuff. You and cannot. if someone is, they're an incredible writer. You can say that again. Yeah.